Today we're speedrunning through Untitled Goose Game, and this time I got my brother Chris here with me. Hey guys. So we can start the speedrun as soon as we first honk, and then right away we can keep honking because we're geese and kind of annoying. So this game is basically about being annoying because you're a goose. And that is basically the perfect summary of this game. You just make people upset. Yeah, we kind of go around the town and ruin people's days because, I mean, why not? We don't really like them. Nothing really better to do on a Tuesday afternoon. And we can even do some weird things with the physics, like whatever that was right there. And now, yeah, we can actually start with the game after learning the controls. And you can see the title card, Untitled Geese Game. It's going to be beautiful. So basically how this game goes is you have a bunch of tasks you have to do before you can continue on. So our first task is going to be making Making this groundskeeper wet. I'm gonna start his sprinklers and then Chris is gonna go steal his keys and take them over to the sprinkler. And now once the groundskeeper takes his keys again, that means I can start the sprinkler again, make him wet. And you can see that task is now checked off. So our next one is going to be Chris taking the rose and then he puts it right there. So the groundskeeper has to go and plant it again. And then while he's doing that, I'm gonna steal his hat. So thank you very much, mine now. And he didn't even notice when I was trying to do that. But now I can go take this over here, place it in the grass and he'll have no idea. Yeah, he's kind of an idiot. And then while he's looking for his hat, we can also just steal his rake. I'm going to try to distract him and get him away from us. Stop, dude. No. Okay. I'll take his keys so he can stop being annoying to us. And Chris can just keep taking his rake. One of the strategies that we use in this game is that if a human does try to chase us while we have an item that they want, if you drop them, they'll get focused on something else. So for example, he just went to look for his hat after we dropped the rake. And now he can't find his hat. So he has to put on a sun hat and that's going to be another objective, which means now we can move on to the next area. Because once you do enough objectives, he's going to put up this sign. And yeah, we kind of just have to wait right now. You can see geese just doing <laughs> what geese do and as he tries to hammer in the sign i am going to try to break his finger because why not chris can take his keys and then we're kind of gonna try to get over him so you can do that and just try oh, to no. climb over okay just try to get around him go, go, and perfect go. let's go so he stole his stuff and now he's gonna try to chase after us he probably will catch chris so chris is gonna have to take his keys again but he's gonna keep coming after me and okay we're so far away from each other it's so hard but if i drop that now he's gonna go for his keys because he has higher priority on the key than he does the shovel. So now Chris can keep going around with that and I can place this in here and the woman will think that it's now her property. So now we'll go back, get this keeper again. Okay, little boy. <laughs> and now we can steal this guy's keys. He has some weird stuff he's doing. Stop it, dude. Just let us take your keys. It's not that difficult. And now we can take them over here, which he's then going to try to buy back his own item. And little Timmy, stop it. Okay, so you can place his keys right there. I'm gonna start terrorizing little Timmy by taking care of his shoelaces and scaring him away. And Chris is gonna go take his other glasses and yeah, we can basically do all this stuff at the same time. So I'm going to steal his glasses. Chris is going to give him the new glasses and he's going to be like, oh, those are mine. And all while this is happening, you can see that he is buying back his own shovel because he's an idiot. No, not yet. He still has one shoelace. Oh, oh no, he, he might does. be okay. He tied it. He tied it. Okay. Oh, he well. doesn't <laughs> one. Okay. That was really lucky, actually. <laughs> so we're going to scare him into there. He's going to be a little wimp about it. And now Chris can wait right over there while I go and steal her broom. Okay. Excuse me, garden keeper. And this broom is in a really annoying spot, but I'm I'm gonna start taking this so then we can break her broom because we just really don't like her. While he's trying to break the broom, I go in and get on TV. Now I'm a famous duck. <laughs> or a goose. <laughs> or a goose. Well, pretty much the same thing. <laughs> but there we go. I broke the broom. We're gonna steal a pair of her sunglasses and we can move on with our lives. So we're gonna try to aggro her to come near us. She's gonna take her broken broom <laughs> to try to like hit us with it or something like that. And now I can place those right here and she's gonna come right up to the garage and try to enter it. Now when she does that, Ben's gonna run inside with the glasses and and we're just gonna trap her inside. Yep, and that's Easy as perfect. That. <laughs> so now she's trapped in her own garage, like an idiot. So now we have a little bit of waiting while she gets some like goose repellent or something. I don't know what she was trying to get, but now she's trapped in her own garage. So she will open up this area for us and we can continue on. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I almost didn't get out of there, but she's like, okay, I give up <laughs> with these keys. We stole her stuff, but she, she was just done with us at that point. We're already terrorizing the community enough, to be honest. And now we can see the new guy, which is gonna be this dude and it's time to terrorize him so what we can do right here is steal his sandal and yeah he's just kind of an idiot so that's mine now i'm gonna place it just out of his reach and he's gonna be like okay 
I guess it's gone. And this is pretty much the waiting part of the speed run. There is a strat to do this faster, but we're not good enough to do it. So we just do this waiting strategy instead. And you can see we're doing some pretty beautiful <laughs> things. But we have to wait until he starts drinking his tea because then we can steal his other flip flop and, you know, continue on. Or is that a flip flop or like a sand? What is it's that? It's a slipper. Okay, whatever. People are going to make fun of me in the comments. But finally, he gets done with that. So that means I can come over here and we're going to get ready to steal his stuff. So I can steal his slipper. He can take his hat and we're going to take all this stuff and he's just going to be really annoyed at us but we don't really care i'm going to try to take his pipe that's over here he's going to try to run after us but he's too much of an idiot to get near okay maybe he's not please stop it dude okay you're really annoying but we can keep stealing it back from him i don't know why he's so perplexed about how we're doing this like we're just geese all right dude and we can go and take his stuff and we're going to take it to this lady's side of the place and yeah Hooray, now we can get her to dress up this statue. And luckily he threw over the glasses into the other lady's yard, which is exactly what we wanted. So now we can place those all right there and the lady should come over and dress up the statue for some reason. I don't really know why she decides to do this, but I'd be good for her, I guess. And while she's doing that, Chris can go over and steal this stuff <laughs> and he's gonna pose to be it. And now she's gonna dress that up. And then while she's doing that, I'm gonna terrorize this guy by making him spill his tea on himself. So I can wait a second second and as soon as he does that i can hit the dong he spits it out because he's a jerk and yeah hooray now they're gonna have to have a talk he's gonna be like why did you just do that to me so now we just have a little bit of a waiting point where he just gets mad at her she's gonna have to go set up her bell again and i'm gonna get her to look at the bow okay or i guess she'll come right now hopefully this won't mess up the cycle please oh i just messed everything up okay that's okay it's just gonna be a tiny bit of a time loss but that wasn't the best so as soon as she sets up this bell again i'm gonna get her to come after the bow and then she's gonna try to put the bow on Chris. Now, as soon as she does that, she realizes, hey, I'm a real goose. <laughs> so now we're going to steal her vase, knock down her table over here so we can use it as a bridge. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's going on right now. And I'm going to take this bow off of him or at least try to. Okay, there, there go. we go. And we can get the guy over here to try to throw the vase over to her. How, how is he not noticing? Hello, look at this. <laughs> but he gets mad when things are on his side of the yard. So he goes and just <laughs> breaks her vase. That was really expensive. And we can set up for the next thing by Chris pecking on this bush. You All right, come really, over to this side. You don't really have to peck that many times, but it's just something to do while they're <laughs> arguing again. <laughs> so she'll get upset, and then she notices that we opened her gate again and also pecked on her bush, and he's like, okay, now I'm gonna go set up no goose sign or something like that. My controller just died again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> His controller died. Hopefully Wake it'll up. be okay. By this Wake point. up. Okay, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it worked at the perfect time because we didn't really have anything okay, to do. Okay, yeah. So now she is going to try to cut this bush and she's kind of an idiot. You can see she's going to go through, cut it once, cut it twice, and then she just decides to cut the rose and he gets so upset at her. But we're not going to let them talk because instead we're going to steal her bra and then <laughs> she's just going to come after us. So she's going to keep running and we're going to get her over here because this is where the next point of progression is. So she's she's gonna look around somehow she lost us I really don't know how and now we can come over here and just sneak by once she takes out this part which I'm not sure why she just takes out a part of her fence it's kind of weird but we're just gonna sneak by oh Oh, there, come on, perfect. push through, nice. And now we break this guy's house who just has a very open door. And <laughs> that's probably why you shouldn't leave your doors open. So now it is time for the next part of the speed run, which is probably also the hardest part of the speed run. So we're really gonna have to try for this one. Our time so far is definitely looking pretty good though. Really solid. Yeah, we've been doing good. We can go right over here. And the first thing we wanna do is steal this guy's shoelaces because he seems like a jerk. And we nice. don't really like we him. got both of them. Yeah, so he <laughs> falls down like an idiot. And now while he does that, I'm gonna come to these guys and i'm gonna make them think i'm a cool goose and there are two different things that this guy can do over here he can either throw darts or try to sit down and when he tries to sit down we steal the stool and he crashes on his butt <laughs> <laughs> and now while he's doing that i'm gonna go and steal this okay please get the cup Got it? all right okay. and let's go over here so we can make it through there the guy from earlier has left his post so we just kind of have a free reign all the way over here and that worked out really well that we was must perfect have practiced this game at least 15 times and that was the best we ever had. <laughs> so I'm gonna go right over here, drop this. Try not to break it because that thing is very easy <laughs> to break. But we dropped it in the canal and that was actually perfect. Now we just have a couple more things to do. There's gonna be this guy, but you can get his shoelace again. And stop chasing oh, after, dude, please dude, stop. Run. Okay. He got his shoelace okay. done. Okay, so now we're gonna go check and see if this guy has his is doing darts. And he does look like he's about to do the dart cycle. Now I'm gonna run up there and turn on some water. Don't do it just yet. So I can see his dart cycle though. He's gonna keep getting chased. I have to ah! wait for this guy to do his dart ah! thing. 
<laughs> There's so much stuff going me. on. But there we go. We can break his dark board. And now she's, it's time to move on to the She's just attacking me. Okay, so that didn't work out exactly how I was hoping it would. Yeah, so we have to wait her out a second. Turn away from her. Go! Whenever oh. they're looking at you, if you show them your butt, they stop looking at you. So now what we can do is just sneakily go through this table. And I'll keep distracting her while he turns on her water. So she'll just keep getting <laughs> mad at me. She's just looking at me like, what are you doing, dude? But I'm a goose, all right? I don't follow human morals or whatever. And Chris is literally just sitting there. She's still hey oh hey. damn it oh, oh no gosh, she's, going she's coming okay just keep her okay distracted. switch positions so steal the boat. she's going after him now <laughs> oh no and i'm just going to take her boat because hey it's mine now and then another thing he's gonna have to do is turn off the water because yeah. she does have to do that if you if you don't yeah so we can do that turn that off and then she is going to go into her next cycle as soon as well, i go, go over here kahuna. well yeah we want to wait a second though just to make sure she has to do her cycle at least a little bit you can see she's just like oh <laughs> I'm an angry lady. And now she has to put her boat back. You know, there's just a bunch of slow things she has to do. But as soon as she does that, we just have to make it over here. We don't want to get too close to him. Otherwise, he's going to try to attack us and actually be able to attack us. But if we just get him to chase after us, then we have plenty of leeway. And oh no, it's this woman. Please do not stop us. Go. Oh, come no, on. No, no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Go, go, yes. go. Perfect. Okay, it actually worked out. And now what we can do is get this guy. We're just going to keep aggroing him so he stays in this direction. And he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> Somehow he's not able to see me, even though I'm right there. So, hey, dude. How you doing? Hey, I'm still here. I'm Oven, st you don't want to scare her because now she walks away from Oh, her yeah. Side. Girl. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to get him. I'm gonna take a shoelace. Come on, dude. Okay, that wasn't perfect, but he's gonna fall down and now have to get a shoelace. And we have everything set up. So now he'll try to do that. She will take this box off of there. And now we can aggro him again. So we just go over here, start doing some barks or whatever sound <laughs> good, like a quack. <laughs> Geese don't bark. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and now Chris can start setting up for the next part where we're gonna drop a bucket on his head. Okay, I don't even see where oh I am my right gosh. now. What is going on? Please stop. <laughs> Stop, you're terrorizing me. I'm just a goose. I'm just a goose. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm trying to okay, help. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. That was really annoying. <laughs> Sometimes things like that can happen, but that's okay. And he's going to try to put these tomatoes back. And as soon as he does that, Chris is going to go up and put a bucket on his head. Now, Chris can make it through there. And we're going to start with the next cycle, which is the last part of the game. Because he's going to go sit down on the tomatoes like an idiot and be like, oh, no, tomato butt. Now, in case you guys are wondering why running into people is so bad, it's because if you've never played this game, Game, there are some really wonky controls and if you do get hit by them you basically spin out oh, no. in like a giant circle and i'm gonna undo his shoelaces that was almost bad he got me in a weird spot okay but so now ben can unlock that gate from the other side but now we get to the last part of the game and we should be able to get a sub 20 what we can do is we can make it over this place oh that was our cool fastest movement. one yet yeah that was actually beautiful and we get the point at which this whole game has been coming to which is stealing this bell i'm eating bugs out of the water <laughs> for some reason and we just really <laughs> want to steal this bell. And yeah, it's ours now. So we can go take this thing. It takes a little bit to get down and he's still eating bugs <laughs> out of the water. <laughs> yummy, yummy bugs. <laughs> but finally, that is going to collapse and I can steal this bell, which you can see is going to constantly make sound. Now, what we can do right here is I can use some movement to try to make it over there. This is really weird movement, but and there nice. we go. Perfect. Very good. That saves a tiny bit of time. I can go and run over those people. For some reason, there's like an entire mannequin village and i really have no idea what that's about <laughs> and now this part gets a little hard because we have to dodge all the people that want to steal our bell for some reason yeah so what we're gonna have to do is just not let any of them find us they're gonna come over here you're gonna have to steal his shoelaces trying to get him but he's kicking me right now okay maybe i can make it through oh no oh, get the bell i'm trying get okay it. Go, we got go 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 we're so close get the bell no Get it! Give it back! Give okay, it back! Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> okay, that was terrifying. I think that's probably the hardest part of taking back the bell is all these people. And then they just give up. They can't <laughs> cross the bridge. They're like, okay, whatever. You cross the bridge because we're not touching it. But that's definitely the hardest part, especially because there are just so many people. And now we have a much easier job like this lady who is just going to be an idiot. Yep, so I'm going to juke her out while Ben goes ahead and knocks that down to create the bridge again. Yeah, so I can do and that. She is catching up. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, I stopped it a little too early. 
it's okay. We can make it through. Oh no. Yeah, go. Nice, nice. Da go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, oh god. She's terrible okay, at this okay. game. And now we have to juke out this guy as well. He's gonna be really annoying. I'm gonna quack a couple oh, of times. Oh, nice. And that was perfect. And now we just have a couple more people we have to make it past. Right now, we're only at 17 minutes and 30 seconds. This can be a really good time if we just hurry up. Running as fast as my goose legs can go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There's not much you can do to speed this up. You just have to make sure nothing bad happens. And we can use some specific ways of doing that, like going under this table so she's not able to chase after us. But she got a really good angle on us. Okay, this could be bad. Actually, they both got a really good angle. Oh, no. Yeah, that is really Okay, unlucky. I got it. I got it. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. And we don't even see the kid. The funny thing is, if you see the kid, he's going to try to take the bell from you, but then you can just honk and he runs away. It's actually kind of Okay, hilarious. good. Now they give up. And we got Farmer Bob over here, so we have to juke him out. And oh, gosh. Good thing he's slow. Oh, no. Help. Okay, let's go. I, I can't get it. Go. No, Farmer Bob. No, please. We need this sub-19. No, oh, not you got the keys. keys. Okay, okay go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, this is really going to be close. Just got to make it into the water, and then he will get his boots wet, so he can't walk anymore. This is going to be really close. I think this should be the sub-19, though. On. We just got to go. For some reason, it feels like we're walking so <laughs> slow at this point, but we're just slowly making it through all the way back through the entire game, and it's kind of a beautiful ending, seeing all the journeys we went on, all the people we terrorized. Get ready. You're ready and to then stop finally, the time. we can end time as soon as he Boom, drops this bell. let's go. That was our best time. <laughs> yeah, that's an 1850. That's pretty good. So now we can just be geese and like my controller just turned off again. <laughs> wow. Well, it was the perfect time. <laughs> that was the perfect time for my controller to go off. And now, if we look on speedrun.com, we'll see that we got a nice and comfortable seventh place. We'll take it. Definitely. But I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, check out my brother's channels. I'm gonna leave them in the description as well as the pinned comment. He does a lot of things on his channels but mostly nintendo stuff speedrunning, and pokemon challenges yeah so be sure to check me out and of course if you enjoyed this video check out my other ones and if you do subscribe but enough shilling thank you all for watching i'll catch you next time